Okay. It's been a while since I've posted about here, but we're going to do the Eric Warre GoPro. This is part three, day five, Ann Fisher, getting over fear. She talked about how we'll do anything um, to climb out of your hole. So wherever you're stuck at, is it you don't have enough money to pay your bills? Is it um, that your health and wellness is struggling and you're just desperate? Is it that you want to be able to send your children to school? To college and don't have the finances whatever that hole is you'll do anything to climb out of that hole and that's where young living comes in it's an amazing opportunity um, so recruiting is how we grow our business and of course um, you can check out all the notes up top if you have any questions about any of it reach out and hopefully I remember from that because it's been so long now but hopefully I remember and I can help you through it but um, you are just asking people to take a look at this opportunity um, either the opportunity, it's either the product or the business. Um, and guess what? We don't get to decide what their answer is. Again, it goes back to that bus being the bus driver, right? We are just driving the bus. We are just opening and closing the door as we stop at every single stop because we want to give the opportunity to everybody. We need to allow them to make that decision for themselves. So, um, if you... Let's see. Fear that um, you won't be able to be to bring enough people in. So if you have that fear that you won't be able to bring enough people in, stop right there because this isn't about you. It's about a team effort. And I am so guilty of this because I, I don't know enough people. I don't, my circle isn't big enough. Stop right there. That's making it about us. It's not about us. It's about... Um, it's about a team effort. It's about the people that you know of who they know. So just because I only know X amount of people doesn't mean that our business can't grow. It just means that this is, that's where the networking comes in, right? Um, so we don't have time to be afraid. There, there's no time for fear. Satan likes to keep us in fear. That's not of God. God doesn't put about fear upon us. So don't believe those lies. Um, and again, I'm preaching to me. So there are four platforms. Social media is one. And when you're on social media, you need to be setting up your brand, who you are. Um, and you need to be prospecting to the same people that have the same of who you are, same likes and whatever, because those are the people you're going to be able to reach because those are the things that you're passionate about and that you love, right? Number two is your hot, warm market. Um, I don't get to decide for them. Like we said, the bus driver, we don't get to decide who gets on and off. But she said, we don't get to decide for them. We are not Jesus. We just offer the opportunity and leave the answer to them. That's the same with the bus driver, right? Number three is face-to-face. -face. Um, do you have the courage to talk to them? Leave samples with people and then ask them to pull up um, your social, social media page and follow them. Send them an immediate message. So if you're out and about and you hand somebody a sample, hey, say, pull up your social media, pull up your Facebook. Let's friend each other right here, right now. Um, don't be afraid to do that. I was in the beginning, but it's awesome if you do it right then and there. Most people are saying, yeah, let's do that. That way you can connect with them. And then that gives you the opportunity to follow up with them and send them an immediate message and say, hey, that lavender that I handed you, have you had a chance to use it? How did it work? Um, and then number four are events and networking. Um, you can do those nowadays. They're virtually via Zoom or whatever platform you're using. I'm finding that Zoom works really well for us to get a lot of people to. Um, our success, here's something that you need to know right off the bat. Your success in this business, me too, does not rely, has nothing to do with, has nothing to do with anybody else. Not our upline, not our downline, not our cross line, not anybody. It has to do with us. We have to take the responsibility on our own shoulders and do that. That doesn't mean that this is not a team effort because it is, but we can't say, well, Denise has been stuck at executive for three years. So it's because of her upline didn't train her and her downline isn't doing their job. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Girlfriend or boyfriend. No, 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 no. That is not true. It falls on to us. We have to take responsibility. We own this business. We are our own boss. We have to do that. Um, okay, so um, get over your fear of inviting. It's all you are doing is just inviting them. 
the the outcome of what they decide is is up to them not up to you i do like that many of these speakers talked about giving them an out so instead of saying hey come to my class um so you can learn about this no hey come to my class check this out we're gonna be talking about this and if it isn't for you no worries you're giving them an out so they don't feel like they're being pulled into it and stuck in it so always give somebody an out it's super important um find 10 people from each platform and invite them personally to take a look that could be at the products it could be at the business it could be whatever um sorry i'm just reading my notes um marry the, okay there's really important marry the process but divorce the outcome don't so marry marry the process but divorce the outcome so get married to presenting the opportunity get married to presenting the opportunity get married to presenting the opportunity and then divorce the outcome leave that stuff behind because it's not up for us to decide um, and if you were getting paid a hundred dollars per person for just inviting how many people would you invite so if I said to you I'm gonna pay you a hundred dollars for every person you invite to take a look at the opportunity or take a look at the products how many people would you invite? I'm sure you'd invite a lot. I know I sure would. So, desperation over fear. We are desperate to succeed, whatever that reason may be for our business. Get out there and jump over that fear. And you guys have no idea how much of this is for me that I'm talking to me right now. This was huge because I've battled with fear for so long. A fear of what people would think about me. Fear of what people would say. Fear that people would reject me. That's the biggest. Fear of rejection. It's a big one for me. Um, get over yourself, get over that fear. People need what you've got and get out there. All right, guys, God bless.